Hello everyone. So today uh, is 28th of August and uh, let's discuss what we discussed last time. So uh, on Friday's analysis we saw that um, EOD data was suggesting bearishness and but today uh, the reverse happened, okay? So today what happened was market went up but in the morning we saw some selling but it did not last. So this is very usual and uh, it has become a very common trend that whenever EOD data is I mean truly negative or bearish, uh, heavily bearish what people do is they buy puts lot, lots and lots of puts and uh, the big guys algorithm uh, easily detects that many people are buying puts and that's why they do uh, put writing okay and also like uh, uh, they do call buying as well so uh, today morning we caught the big guys they were buying uh, calls and uh, here exactly the buying was going on here okay and then market went up and uh, also I have mentioned uh, where they have bought like at and at what average price so you can go and read here so it was at 19,300 CE and the, av uh, the average price is at, ar ar at around 80 rupees okay and uh, th so uh, we uh, I detected them buying and so I also bought with them uh, here so uh, first in the morning both the sides riders were present okay and uh, I was waiting for the perfect signal as you know like I wait for the signal and then uh, there was uh, I mean I said that last I was carrying a uh, call writing position at 19,438 okay so uh, that was I, I, I have told you on Friday's analysis so here as positional and uh, that I closed at uh, I mean if you see here that I closed at uh, 30 5.50 so 1003 so if you look at the time so here uh, uh, I mean at around this moment like uh, here 950 10 so almost at this bottom uh, I closed it because there I saw some signal that uh, no market can reverse but still here the buyers were not present okay that's why I closed my call writing because some signal was coming of bullishness but buyers were still not present so I closed my call writing I, I did wait for the buyers uh, to come now nifty went here uh, at around uh, above 19,300 and I clearly said that 19,320 is a major important level it's a point of control uh, or the level of control whatever you say and uh, then I saw that here all of a sudden buying started okay call buying started at 19,300 at 80 we uh, I also bought and then when this dip came I also did put writing okay so if you see here because when this this dip came so again I mean you should be very good with your analysis so that I mean uh, this this was a big red candle okay so uh, I mean almost a 20 points red candle and if you see here uh, here sorry not here uh, 19,300 PE shorted at 73 so you look at the time 11.56 so this is the candle from uh, 11.50 to 11.55 so at the very bottom I shot it and then you uh, I mean there was a very nice move and I uh, bought uh, uh, I bought my uh, 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 put buy, uh, sorry call buying at 80 closed at 97 and uh, this put writing 73 uh, closed at 52 okay so uh, I mean 21 points in premium meeting in uh, this uh, uh, writing position and uh, there we uh, I had 17 points in uh, call buying okay and that's a very good return for as of uh, intraday and then we uh, I did not take any trade and uh, also did not take any positional why because you see in the cash uh, market selling is going on but as I have told you that uh, call buyers are present okay as I've told you here even I mean before market ending also I gave you a reminder that call buyers are present the call buyers are not giving up I said like 3 18 p.m. okay and this I posted uh, I mean when I close my position so I posted this still to let you know that call buyers are present and uh, yeah so that I mean you don't take any wrong decision or it, for your learning purpose whatever you say anyways now coming to bank nifty as well so bank nifty I, I we discussed 44,288 this level was very important this level concentration went on in the morning and here also buying was done and you see the next level 44,590 this level was also discussed and we uh, reached there as well and uh, so now then after that there was some resistance we saw but 
I clearly mentioned that early in this week, I mean, very well break this level 44,520, which was the level of control. So uh, that level you see again, uh, uh, I mean, for the whole this time concentration was going on. Okay. So you have to be very careful uh, about, uh, uh, I mean, uh, around these levels. So these levels are very important. So once uh, this level, if not broken, then we can further see uh, up move. But yes, this level still hasn't broken. If this is taken down, then again, we will be going towards 44,288. Anyways, so uh, that, that was uh, the reading on the charts and that was uh, giving a mixed signal. And that's why uh, I did not take any positional. Okay. And again, uh, yeah, if you, uh, I have shared many analysis on Twitter as well on the charts and everything uh, and this call buying also. Now I'll show you with proof that in the in EOD data is also reflecting. So the major point being here is that uh, I have shown you this not only like this week today I'm showing not only I, this is the first time I'm showing it to you. I've shown it to you even the last week, the last week also. Okay. That. Uh, whatever I catch whenever these big guys are uh, option buyers are present, whatever I catch it also ref reflects in the uh, in the uh, in the EOD data. Okay, so uh, if you if you uh, like my analysis and if my analysis are helping you, don't forget to put a like and uh, those who want such analysis during the intraday. So again, let me tell you that this is the same telegram channel. Okay. This is nothing like one telegram channel. I go long and one short. And then after that, I show you the message. So, uh, as I've told you that the challenge open challenge is that, uh, uh, after joining every day, I show you what I have told in the telegram channel. Okay. So now if you think that in one channel, I'm giving uh, long and another short or whatever. So, uh, in one channel, all these correct trades won't be there. Right. So, uh, after joining, uh, after joining, uh, you will get access to this telegram channel. And if you go and see that on some day, I've shown you some uh, messages which are not there on that day. Okay. In that same telegram channel. So I'll return you uh, 10 times what you have paid me. Okay. So anyways, uh, that's, that's the thing. So, uh, this is the same telegram channel. And, uh, the thing is that if you want such analysis, you can be a part of the derivatives indicator family and you also get access to this money flow indicators. So uh, if you see money flow, so nifty money flow, if you look at uh, the slope of this graph, so it was increasing, but after that it st stopped uh, increasing uh, from this point onwards. But even after that also nifty went up, but finally nifty came down and uh, same thing for bank nifty as well. Like bank nifty score in increased, but after this point here, uh, bank nifty score started decreasing and uh, the same thing happened that bank nifty. Uh, also uh, came down, but, but it did not uh, come down. Uh, uh, I mean a lot, but yeah, still it got resistance at uh, our given level of 44,590. Yeah. And one more thing uh, today video is not available because I don't have my proper setups today. So I'm at my friend's place. So, uh, pardon uh, me for, uh, uh, any such, uh, uh, trouble <laughs> that you are not being able to view my video. So anyways, analysis is important and uh, yeah, uh, don't, uh, if, if the analysis are working, so video doesn't matter anyways. And uh, if the analysis are working, so please don't forget to put a like and uh, uh, yeah. So, uh, uh, and those who don't follow me on uh, Twitter. So for live market updates that I have given many analysis during the live uh, updates uh, during the market hours. So for that you can follow me on Twitter and don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel for daily analysis. Uh, advanced to decline ratios again, it's flat. You can't decide anything. Now you see that FIs are also like selling in the cash, but here in, on in the option chain, if you notice here that 90,300, you see uh, change in open interest is negative. So uh, these guys are closing. Okay. Closing call writing positions. Uh, so something like they are making some changes to their positions and uh, I think there would be a surprise coming uh, this week. Uh, so let's see. Uh, and uh, if the call buyers are present. Okay. So I'll, I'll show you with proof that the call buyers are present. Uh, but yes. So uh, in Nifty the call buyers are present and it's uh, very uh, highly likely that we can again go above 19,400 and uh, coming to that. Uh, that is again, we have discussed the levels. If we go above 90,400, then we have 90,439, 90,472 as the resistance levels. And if bank nifty goes above this level, 
then we have uh, 44,476 uh, uh, yeah, uh, as the next resistance level okay so uh, that said again uh, here we are uh, let's go to the end of the data now so here we go so if you see here that uh, put writing has been done both fis and uh, uh, this fis as well as uh, prop decks and if you notice like let's go to bank nifty option chain as well so bank nifty option chain also you will see that here uh, i mean some negative change in oi and also majorly oi has been built up on the put side and even if you go to fin nifty as well so fin nifty expiry we have tomorrow so here also if you notice here that uh, i mean majorly put writing has been done in fin nifty as well okay and uh, now where has been then uh, this call buying been done so i'll show you with proof again uh, first let's come here end of the day data put writing has been done so this put writing has done uh, in uh, has been done in fin nifty nifty as well as bank nifty again you will see that uh, no call writing has been done and you will see say that like uh, sorry no call short covering has been done and you will say that uh, the big guys haven't uh, covered their calls but they have uh, you see they since uh, we have fin nifty expiry tomorrow so they also initiate call writing positions in fin nifty so uh basically the amount is like uh, the amount of call writing they have closed in nifty is more than uh, like is less than the uh, than the amount of call writing they have done in fin nifty so that's why it's showing positive and uh, so it's basically like uh, they have done call short covering in nifty but uh, overall uh, you won't see the uh, i mean overall the change is positive because in fin nifty they have done call writing anyways if you see the call buying now you you will notice that both these uh, uh, i mean prop decks as well as uh, fii's they have bought uh, because you, here you'll uh, see the change is 51590 and there you'll see the change is 167918 uh, and for prop decks as well like it's 7798 and here it's 76728 so they have bought calls both they uh, have bought calls and so in option chain uh in nifty they are long and uh, also in fin nifty overall like uh, put ma majorly like put writing has been done fin, fin nifty bank nifty nifty and in nifty majorly call writing uh, call buying has been done okay so this is the option chain analysis coming to uh, futures uh, uh, coming to futures position you see you will notice that futures uh, short positions are being increased but uh, people get bullish as soon as future short positions have been uh, increased by the fis so this future short positions it's be basically for the september month so there is nothing to get uh, bullish uh, so they have still they still they have time and uh, so and here we have fis they have also initiated some long positions in nifty today uh, sorry uh, in futures today and so uh, they short term i think they are bullish so that's why they are creating these long positions and long term they are bearish and coming to prop decks also uh, they have decreased their futures long positions but increased their futures short positions so futures position doesn't guarantee that we'll get the move tomorrow or uh, near term but option chain yeah it it gives some guarantee that we will get the move near term anyway so coming to the other data here that is uh, you'll see the uh money flow in uh, futures is positive in the ind overall index and now notice the money flow or uh, the buying amount and the selling amount here so now you'll notice that in nifty you'll no only in nifty you'll notice like notice in bank nifty in fin nifty only in nifty you'll notice that suddenly like the buying amount is uh, like the put buying and the call buying is a little bit more than uh, the money uh, that is involved uh, so that's uh, so the buying amount it's uh, more than uh, the selling amount right so now there are many theories like you can't surely say this but i have discussed this very well in the fi statistics uh, derivatives data detailed analysis the video that i posted that you have to do 360 degree analysis okay i did my analysis during the intraday i uh, did my analysis that call buyers are present in nifty i know where they have bought 19380 
I have done my analysis during the intraday. Now I am matching it with the EOD data and my analysis, I see that it's going perfectly fine. Why? Because I see that now the buying amount in uh, Nifty uh, options, you see here, Nifty, it's more. Okay. So I have explained like the call buying, why will it be more? Because the call buying is basically like when you do put buying, so you go, uh, I mean, if you are going out of the money, so lower, so the money flow, uh, like let's take an example, suppose 19,300. Okay. Suppose you're buying put at 19,200 one lot and suppose you're buying uh, call at 90,400 one lot. So the money flow will be more for uh, 90,400 call buying. Okay. Because 90,400 is being multiplied by the lot, uh, the quantity. Okay. And here 90,200 is getting multiplied with the quantity. So, uh, by uh, the option price doesn't have any influence here. So that's why. And now I know that yes, in nifty majorly this call buying has been done. So my, you see now I, all my analysis, the, all the dots are joining. But if I didn't do the analysis during the intraday that call buyers are present and now after the end of the day, I am checking this, uh, this FI's statistics uh, data, then I won't surely be able to uh, conclude because that uh, money can uh, be uh, greater uh, for many reasons. Okay. Uh, as I have discussed in the video. So if you have missed the video, so go and check it out. And uh, yeah, so that's the overall analysis. And I have shown you with proof that uh, whatever analysis I do during the intraday, so they match with the EOD data and that is a very powerful thing. And uh, yeah, one should be like, if you are, if you are able to do that, then only like uh, you're going to serve. Uh, I mean the high probability that you are going to survive because nowadays uh, suddenly data changes and you have to capture that during the intraday. Otherwise you, uh, I mean, it's a loss scenario. Okay. So anyways, so again, uh, if you want uh, live such analysis, you can be a, a part, uh, of the derivatives indicator family. And, uh, here the other major point being here is that, uh, you would say that, uh, nifty fell here. Okay. Nifty fell here. Okay. But why didn't you take any positions or didn't you get the signal? Now here when nifty fell, so it was, it just fell to give exit to the call writers, not there wasn't any option buying going on, put buying wasn't done. So that's why I did not take the trade. Okay. Many of you would think that, oh, uh, I mean, many of you, uh, even I think went bullish, uh, bearish here, seeing big red candles. But if you have taken put buying positions, then you would very well know that put uh, prices did not increase though there was fall, but uh, as expected, I, I'm not saying that at all did not increase, but uh, all I'm saying is that as expected, like we were getting big candles, big red candles, but the put prices were like not increasing as expected according to the Delta. Okay. So that's why, like you see that when the option buyers are not present, it's not a very good idea to go with even the fall as well. So that's what I want. I mean, I wanted to prove today that, uh, always you have to wait for the big option buyers. If you are an option buyer, you have to wait for the signal for the big option buyers. Then only you can go in the right direction. Uh, I mean, even price action won't give you, uh, uh, I mean, uh, profitable trade, e even price action won't be able to give you a uh, very pro good profitable uh, uh, scenario uh, uh, in this. Like many would come and say contradict me, but this is a debatable topic. Let's leave it anyways. So the analysis is going fine and uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you like my analysis, if you want such analysis in the future, so please don't forget to put a like and please do share it among the other traders so that others can take the benefit of it. And uh, thanks for watching. Keep watching and keep learning and trade safely. See you in the next one.